Is Pokemon Shiny Hunting a waste of time? Now, recently, I decided to do a... I would do Dynamax Adventure every day until I get a Shiny. And this has been going out, um... Pretty okay for me. I mean, I'm not getting anything good so far, but hey, is it a complete waste of time? Or will I get it in the next, maybe day? Or maybe week? Who knows? Is... Now, when you think about time and shiny hunting, shiny hunting does take a lot of time, but not a lot of effort. So essentially what you could be doing is shiny hunting while watching a show or a movie or something. Or, hey, if you need to dig a big hole, you can have your Nintendo 3DS or Switch right beside you, reset it, keep dig digging that big old hole, pick out the dirt, and then reset the game. Hey, shiny hunting can be, you know, a workaround to everything else. Now there's different methods of shiny hunting. There's the one for Dynamax Adventures, which is kind of a pain. You, you can't really idle it, but hey, it's more fun, I guess, because then you can get a mysterious shiny every single day. Now, there's also the reset hunt, which I tried doing, like I was, I just finished um, playing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl to do a review on it in 2024. There's a link right there if you want to go watch it. But, you know, um, that game was fine. And I wanted, I just really, really wanted a shiny Arceus. Because I feel like shiny Arceus would be a really cool idea to have. And it would just be a really unique thing. So what did I do? Shiny Hunt for Shiny RCS 2. Now this one is a little bit more simple because you can either watch YouTube, watch a show, watch whatever, or even go and do something while resetting. Because you reset and then you can finish your thing while the game reloads and then you can just boom. Now that may be a waste of time to you um, because when you think about Shiny Hunt, it's a 1 in 4096 chance most of the time to get a legendary shiny. Um, you know, it's just better to get a legendary shiny. The feeling is just there. It's out the wazoo. But, you know, there's also the regular Pokemon shiny hunting. Because, you know, you want to get yourself that shiny ditto. That sweet, sweet shiny ditto. But the only way to get a shiny ditto is in Scarlet Violet, you have to defeat a whole bunch of meow and whatever so you see yourself that beautiful ditto and there's a chance it could be shiny you can't see it in the overworld let's go Pikachu and Eevee you have to go to the far lands across the water what do you call that thing Cinnabar Island Cinnabar Island you have to go there you have to go in the Pokemon Mansion and then you have to get a chain of 31 or more to get yourself that beautiful shiny ditto now if you don't get it, that is kind of sad. Like, you know, when you think about odds, you can get it in your very first reset. You could get it in your 400 reset. Or you can get it in your 10,000 reset. Or you can just not get it at all because you're not that lucky. That's what I thought when I was shiny hunting for shiny Lugia and Pokemon Forest. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, that's the one. Ooh, Brain Park. Anyway, that's what I thought because maybe I was doing something wrong because it just wasn't There I wouldn't get it. I did at least 15,000 resets and I just couldn't get it But the thing about shiny hunting It's something that once you get you feel like It's yours and you're unique and being unique is the best thing because being unique is just fantastic everyone else has Let's just say we have a Garatina. Everybody else has the red Garatina with the black wings. No, no, no. You did the shiny hunt for Garatina, and you got yourself the Garatina, the blue belly, the blue accents, and the white. Anyways, you got yourself that sweet, sweet shiny Garatina, and you were super happy about it because, A, first of all, it's yours. Second of all, it took either a lot of resets or not that many resets 
And fourth of all, if you got in your first shot, that is even more impressive. But yeah, at the end of the day, shiny hunting is more like a fun task than anything else. Because you're working on getting something that will make you feel happy. A sense of joy, you know what I mean? Once you get that shiny legendary that you've been looking for, or a shiny legendary, you can say, hey, this is what happened. This is the time that I shiny hunted while I was on my scooter. And, you know, when when you shiny hunt, it's just, hey, I got myself something that is very, very unique. Very. And, you know, when you say it like that, having a shiny Pokemon, is really really cool especially if you complete the national pokedex if you complete the national pokedex with all shinies that's no longer just a cool thing that's the flex getting every single pokemon a thousand and eight thousand and eight i think getting every single pokemon and then completing that sweet sweet shiny national dex that is the biggest flex in the world because some of the shiny pokemon you can't just hunt you have to actually go get event to exclusives like um shiny celipi or shiny jirachi you have to go and get that from event now you could be saying shiny mew but there's already ways to get shiny mew and it's actually there you're not really cheating it's not cheating what i mean by that is the pokemon red and blue well, i'm pretty sure pokemon bank is still up so that's good so pokemon red and blue on the 3ds you can do a little glitch called the 8f method which is yeah like overriding the game's code and then changing it up but basically you're not really cheating you're not adding a cheat engine in there you're not adding anything it's just you doing stuff with the game anyways playing around with the game and having a great time while also changing a bit of the code and the Mew and stuff, and then being able to turn them shiny, that is a task. That is a big task to do. You can do it in about four, five, six hours, but if you're fast at speed running, you have to get to about the third gym. You get the, you need a master ball, but you can get that anywhere, and then you just start doing, and then override your backpack, and then you, yeah. Anyways, you can do it. And hey, then you can say, hey guys, I got myself a shiny Mew. And it's really cool because I didn't get it a regular way. It's not technically cheating because you didn't add no third party software in there. So yeah, it's not a shiny Mew. Anyways, what do you think about this? Do you think that shiny hunting is a waste of time? Or do you think it's, you know, it's pretty good. I can go and do my shiny hunting business while I'm mowing the lawn because you know you can take out your switch reset keep driving the lawnmower or if it's a push mower hey you can take the 3ds or whatever out of your pocket reset stick it back in there keep mowing the lawn whatever the case may be you can do it and it's just the uh, having a fun time you know having a fantastic time doing all that shiny goodness and yeah tell me what your favorite shiny that you caught is in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that being said see you in the next one